Roman Abramovich, Ann Davis, probably spring to mind. But to go back 200 years and their equivalents are Richard Arkwright and Jedediah Strutt. Yep, the two men virtually invented the Industrial Revolution. Did you know that? I do now. Mm -hmm. Right here in the East Midlands today, Strutt, who perfected the art of stocking making, was honoured with a blue plaque in his name. James Robeson reports. Sitting on one of the East Midlands finest Georgian streets, Frygate House in Derby, an imposing late 18th century building that was the final home of Jedediah Strutt. Strutt, already owning the Derby rib, technology to knit stockings, in the 1770s formed a partnership with Richard Arkwright. They founded the world's first factories, cotton mills on the River Derwent at Cromford, then Belper and Milford. Immensely wealthy Strutt never forgot his roots. Jedediah Strutt was a, a giant of the Industrial Revolution. An entrepreneur, businessman, but he uh, also had that common touch. He lo looked after his workers. And at one stage in Belper, he had actually eight mills and uh, over 2,000, 3,000 employees. But while Strutt built modest cottages for his workers, his family built him this huge 40-room mansion. Its current owner, William Hardcastle, is turning it back into a family home, but also a showcase for the family's famous design business, which is moving from Nottingham back to Derby. I've grown up round here, and I used to walk up and down Ashbourne Road looking at the buildings, the architecture, and I used to just think, wow, because it's like a, like a mini sort of Pall Mall or something when you look up. Vernon Street. We'd always thought move back here and uh, we just fell in love with this building. Today William was there to see a plaque unveiled outside in memory of Strutt. Blue plaques are now springing up all over Derby including this one to another Strutt. As the City Council and the Civic Society recognise the notables who've lived here in the city. The blue plaque scheme is a permanent reminder of the people who have a special or a unique place in the history of Derby. It not only helps us to remember their achievements, but it also inspires current and future generations. James Robeson, BBC East Midlands today, Derby. How fabulous. Good to see Jedediah honoured. You don't get many Jedediahs you these days, do you? You don't get many Jedediahs, you don't indeed. You get more Saras.